So as you know that whenever you have to send some data from point A to point B, you might require to send the data like one on one to some particular person. You might require to send some data to like from one particular source to all the devices in the network or to all the persons or you might require to send some data from one device to a group of devices but not to all. So uh, in this video we are going to talk about the types of addressing, the type of IEP addresses that we have. Uh, majorly these are three types of IP addresses, one is unicast, one is multicast and one is broadcast. In this video we will discuss about the use cases of the unicast addresses, multicast addresses and the broadcast addresses. Hi, my name is Surendra and I am Cisco certified instructor here at iMuta and I will guide you through today's topic. So let's begin. So assuming that uh, let's say there is a sender and that sender wants to send some data there are let's assume there are a group of devices there are let's say one two three four all these four devices are interconnected with the help of a network device let's call it a switch okay so now this is a sender and there are a group of receivers now what it might be required that you had to send some data from point from one sender to one specific receiver uh, there is one sender and there is one receiver so that type of communication is basically known as unicast communication or unicast traffic unicast traffic is basically that flows from one particular sender to one particular receiver and in this type of traffic we require unicast ipv4 addresses if you remember the ip4 or ipv6 addresses so if you remember like uh, in ipv4 we have five classes class a class b class c class d and class e class a class b and class c these are typically used for the unicast traffic so like whenever you have to send some data from one sender to one specific one specific sender to one specific receiver you will always use the ip addresses from the classes like class a class b and class c specifically in case of ipv4 and what to mention like uh, uh, like in every class like in every range specifically one ip is reserved as the network id one ip is reserved as the broadcast id so uh, we can't use those addresses specific like other than those addresses other than the network id and broadcast id in every specific range we can use every ipv4 address from class a class b and class c range as the unicast ip addresses to send the traffic from one specific device to other specific device now if we are if it is required that you have to send the data to all the devices into the subnet so what we can do you can use the one to all communication one to all communication is done by something called broadcasting so for one to all communication broadcasting is basically required and uh, a typical broadcast address you will always see like 255 255 255 255 so any traffic any traffic that is sent towards the destination ip 255.255.255.255 is going to be considered as the broadcasted traffic so broadcast IP is basically 255, 255, 255, 255. We are not specifically talking about the directed broadcast. This is the global broadcast address 255, 255, 255, 255. Suppose you want to send the broadcast packet within the within a subnet, within a particular subnet, within a particular network, within a particular subnet. Let's say 192.168.10.0 subnet. So what you had to find out, you had to find out the last IP address of this range. You had to find out the IP address where the host part is entirely one and that would come to be 192.168.10.255 so if you send some data to this particular address that data is going to be broadcasted but within this particular subnet and if you send some data to this particular IP address that is going to be broadcasted to all the devices like in all the subnets and all so broadcasting yeah broadcast addresses broadcast IP4 or IP6 see IPv6 addressing it doesn't have the broadcasting so we don't have the concept of the broadcast in IPv6, broadcasts are valid only in the IPv4. So if you have to broadcast something in IPv4, so you need to send you need to send the data to 255, And if you have to send a broadcast packet to a specific subnet, you have to send that data to the broadcast address for that particular subnet that is basically going to be known as the directed broadcast. Now uh, there could also be one requirement like you had to send one data but you don't have to send that data to all the devices you only require to send the data to a specific group of devices let's assume key out of these four receivers we only had to send the data to these particular two devices so if you had to send data from one particular sender to a group of receivers but not to all in that case one to a group communication can be done by using something called the multicasting 
and in multicasting we use the multicast addresses there is a specific range for the multicast addresses in case of ipv4 it is actually class d and in case of ipv6 we also have like addresses starting from double f double zero dual column slash eight it is basically reserved for the multicasting so multicasting is basically multicast addressing is basically like when we had to send the data from one to a group of devices but not to all so class d is result for specifically multicasting in case of ipv4 and ff00 dual column slash eight is result for multicasting in ipv6 you are already familiar with some common multicast addresses for example if you if you already know about a little bit about the ccna you must already already be familiar with some multicast addresses for example like rip routing protocol version 2 it uses the multicast address 224.g.g.9 eigrp uses dot 10 uh, some other protocols there are some other protocols like ospf which they these protocols they send their messages to the respective multicast addresses and all these addresses they start from actually 224.0 and 224.0.6 so multicasting is basically one to a group communication but not to all so multicasting is typically used in like conferencing and all like audio conferencing video conferencing where we have to basically send the data to a group of devices but not to all so we'll use a class d address and we'll start sending the data to that particular class d address any address it could be any address to 39.1.1.1 let's say and i will ask the receivers to join that particular stream to join that particular group using some protocols like igmp which is beyond the scope of ccn and ccmp so using some protocols the end users they join the group and they basically start receiving the multicast traffic not all not everyone uh, like whoever is not the part of that particular group will not be able to receive the stream uh, but other than that everyone which is part of this multicast group they will be able to access that particular they will be able to receive that particular data that is the use case of the multicasting so in short unicast one on one unicast addressing for one on one communication broadcast addressing for one to all communication multicast addressing for one to a group communication but not to all there is a specific range class a class b class c in ipv4 Class D is for multicasting and broadcasting to 55 to 55 to 55 to 55 in case of IPv4. And in case of IPv6, we have global unicast, unique local IP addresses. We have global unicast addresses, we have unique local IP addresses, and in multicasting, we have a specific range. There is no concept of the broadcast in IPv6. So, this is the importance of the IPv4 unicast, multicast, and broadcast addresses. Thank you for watching. So if you like this video uh, or if you have any question let us know in the comment section and hit the bell icon for the uh, more updates and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.